What's up, everybody? For the win, Itachi here. You know what it is. Bringing you guys gameplay from Pokemon Sun and Moon demo version. So, we got to start off by selecting a language. We're going to go with English. I have done this demo uh, a couple times now. And I believe I've gotten the camera angle to work where it is visible and it is decent. Uh, you guys can go ahead and check out my very first try of doing a 3DS gameplay on the YouTube channel of youtube.com slash for the one Itachi within our Pokemon Sun and Moon um, playlist. It's the very first, de it is the demo, which is what we're playing right now. Um, but this is so much more clearer and I've learned so much through this process. So hopefully um, next time when we actually get to play actual Pokemon Sun and Moon, the actual versions within less than a month, a couple weeks away, uh, I will be able to continue with the uh, increasing the quality of content from my Let's Plays. Um, but yeah, the quality is so much better. I've learned a lot with uh, Sony Vegas as well when I was editing this, so it helped me a lot as well. So hopefully you guys like the layout. Um, if you do, I will definitely go ahead and keep it for um, when I do my Let's Plays of Sun and Moon. Again, I can't afford right now a uh, 3DS uh, emulator, not an emulator, a 3DS uh, capture card. And um, yeah, we're going to be attempting to do this with a tripod and my cell phone. And I think the quality is not is pretty good. So that was pretty much the introduction for the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo. And I'm going to split this second demo videos into a couple of separate videos. So uh, basically, I got home to a brand new home in the Alola region. Uh, I checked my mail. Um, one of the professors were giving me uh, gave me a Greninja to take to this brand new world. And um, now we're going to the post office to make sure where, or the city hall, I should say, um, to make sure that we are uh, registered as residents now in the Alola region. And uh, we, I'm going to bypass a lot of the stuff now that I know what to do in the uh, demo. I'm going to start off with the, in this video, the actual trial and the actual let's play of the demo. So I'm going to ignore everybody and just go straight to the trial. Uh, I just left the um, post office and I get stopped by my, my buddy here, uh, which is kind of rival. Kind of like a rival, but it's not. I mean, you don't really get rivals in the Pokemon games anymore. They be actually become, like, best buddies. So this is my buddy in the Alola region, and my mom is basically saying, go have fun with him. So now I'm going to be exiting this city hall. And right as I exit the city hall, my buddy and I are stopped by two gangster as uh, Team Skull members. They freaking... If, if they had some gangster music in the background, like maybe Designer Panda, I mean, they, that could have been pretty legit. But uh, we're basically going to do a one-on-one -on -one match, even though there's 2v2 of us. Uh, my partner's going to face one of them, and I'm going to face one of them right now. And um, these guys have got... The team Skull, man, they're, they're gangster ass. So, this is our very first battle uh, with the Pokemon Sun and Moon art style. So, we're going to be getting into this... Um, not too sure. We do, again, we do get Greninja. And he is a higher level than pretty much everything we're facing off against. So it is pretty easy to uh, annihilate everybody that's in our paths in this demo. So we're going to be facing off against the Team Skull Grunt, who has a young goose. And uh, again, we do got Greninja. And it is technically Ash Greninja, but you have to um, force something to faint in order for us to utilize the Ash Greninja form. But um, as you guys can see on the right-hand side of the video, I do have the bottom of the screen being shown there. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. But the main portion of the video, the top screen of my 3DS, is being played in the center. And I thought that layout was pretty cool. You guys will be able to see the new things that are going on in the bottom screen as well. Uh, especially later when we get the Rotom decks. Um, so we did defeat Team Skull with just Water Shuriken. And the Water Shuriken only had to hit twice, 2 out of 5. Uh, so it was a pretty easy defeat there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make our way to a different part of the town. And I'm actually very excited about this part of the town. Um, my rival here, Hau, is basically going to send us or take us or give us a mini tour of the Pokemon Center. What I love about the Pokemon Center is over the past 20 years, it has grown drastically. It is so much better now. I mean, it has to get better. I love the art style of the Pokemon Center. It looks more like the anime Pokemon Center. It's, how it's a circular building. In the anime, a lot of the Pokemon Centers are circular. 
And I'm not sure if it's going to change with different towns in Pokemon Sun and Moon, but this one looks exactly how it would be outside of an anime. And um, what I really love about when you're restoring your Pokemon with uh, Joy, Nurse Joy, I should say, is the fact that it the big screen behind her, it showcases your Pokemon. and every, It's just so cool, and I'll be showing you guys that uh, in a different part of the video. Because right now, I do not need to heal up my Pokemon. Nothing really happened. I just lost one PP on Water Shuriken. So I'm going to step right out again. I'm going to ignore everybody and everything in sight. Um, we, I want to start off uh, this part of the video, or this video alone, um, with the trial itself and what the main purpose of this demo. So I left the Pokemon Center, and we actually finally get to find um, Kukui, who is the professor of the Alolan region. Uh, so Haru's basically giving me acquainted with the professor, and the professor's asking me, do I want to train, do I want to take this trial on? And basically, I'm like, all for it. I'm like, oh, hell yeah, mate. Hell yeah, son. And basically, that's what we're going to do. Um, he's going to take us to a different training ground. And we're going to be going into this cave doing some random trial, which I'll be getting to in just a little bit. And the um, the place that we need to go to is just beyond this route, and this guy's going to teleport us there. And the reason why he's going to teleport us there is I'm assuming if I was to just walk past the guy, if it would allow me to, I don't think I will be going to where I'm going to be going right now. I think there's a couple routes and stuff in between us and the cave. So the demo doesn't want us to explore that part of the game yet. So this guy's going to actually teleport us to the location where we need to be. And uh, there we are. So we see the professor. Uh, Kukui, I'm just surprised at how much better the quality of the screen recording is now that I've uh, edited it and uh, messed around with the um, camera on my phone and the lighting um, in my room as well when I was doing this. So we just adventured into the grass. The professor right before this was basically showing us where I need to go for this trial. Uh, we're going to be facing off against our very first wild Pokemon and we do see this Pokemon quite often. Um, but it is very easy to uh, get rid of. I'm uh, just going to go ahead and uh, water shuriken this one down. But basically what I did to change, if you guys are interested in finding out what I'm doing to record my videos now, again, it's only going to get better from here on out. And I believe the quality of content right now, um, only using a cell phone and a tripod is pretty damn good. And as you guys can see, when the screen kind of goes black and uh, you kind of can see the reflection of the tripod, but that's okay. It's just it's just random blackness of the screen, so you're going to see a reflection of something. But it's not that bad. So we're going to be facing off against another wild Pokemon, and this time it's Young Goose, which, again, we've already faced off against one um, from the Team Skull Grunt. So I'm going to stick with the Water Shuriken move, because it shouldn't be too difficult to take care of uh, this Young Goose, especially with Water Shuriken. And yes, it only required twice again, so pretty easy. So we're going to be making our way to the cave where we need to go to um, actually take off this trial. But before that, we're going to get stopped by this random lady here. She's just basically saying that in the realm of Pokemon VGs, the video games, uh, you sometimes will encounter a trainer. When you look the eyes of the trainer, they're going to uh, encounter you in a battle. So I'm going to bypass that trainer because that trainer is actually used for something different and I will be showing you that in a little bit. Uh, when I first did this demo I did encounter the trainer right away and I noticed he was used for something different so I'm gonna save him for a little bit later. We just had, uh, adventured into the cave uh, we found the professor with a Pikachu and we are finally going to take on our very first trial so he has given us the Pokefinder which is part of the Rotom Dex and you're gonna notice on the bottom of my screen a little bit later on that the Rotom Dex actually takes uh, hold of the bottom of the screen but it's mainly used in this demo for advertisements but it does a couple of unique cool things and I'm pretty sure it'll be doing that within the full demo of uh, the full version of the game full demo of the game are you joking bro so Pikachu has joined the crew uh, this Pikachu is actually the professor's Pokemon so there's it's not gonna stay with us it's just basically they're basically giving it to us to uh, showcase you guys something a little bit later on in this demo so we are going to launch up or fire up the Pokefinder uh, because there's a Pokemon in this hole of the cave. And basically what I need to do is take a picture of this Pokemon. That's part of the trial. I have six attempts to take a, uh, a good picture, a good snapshot. I can use my um, analog stick to move the camera around and push A to take a picture. And once you take the picture, the Pokemon will be startled, probably due to the flash, and it's going to encounter you in battle. 
And what I really love about this trial is the fact that they're allowing us to face off against the dragon types of, that they've already released in the Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, what I want to say about that is if you guys are interested in checking out all the Pokemon Sun and Moon updates, I have every single update on the YouTube channel of youtube.com slash for the win attach. Go ahead and check out the playlist of our Pokemon uh, updates playlists, uh, the latest news and reports on anything Pokemon related, but our Pokemon Sun and Moon updates are there as well, and it will give you everything up to date on Pokemon Sun and Moon, so go ahead and check that out. So, we cleared the first of four quests. I'm going to call them quests, uh, because uh, this whole thing is a trial, and there's four separate things that I need to do. So that was the first of four quests. The professor just wanted to apologize to me because he said he didn't tell me that they're going to encounter us uh, when I take a picture of these Pokemon. So, we found another hole. We were alerted that there's another Pokemon in this one, but it's a little bit more difficult to get this one because it actually does move. Um, but the camera is pinpointed directly into the center, so right when the Pokemon uh, uh, traveled by the center of my camera, I went and took a picture and got the snaps on. Uh, the selfies aren't though, that great, but th they're pretty good. They're, they're good enough. And um, pretty much what we're going to be doing is this is the exact same encounter that we just had. So, facing off against Jungmo, which is, again, the dragon type. Um, I'm using Aerial Ace just because I, I want to see what the different other moves are going to look like on this Greninja. I don't want to keep spamming Water Shuriken, even though Water Shuriken's OP to the bee's knees. And, yeah, we are owning it up here. Um, oh, also, we don't get any other Pokemon. We do have Pikachu, but I'm saving him for something a little bit special later on. Like I said, the professor gave us the Pikachu for a reason. And that is quest number two completed. And it seems there's still one more within the cave. There's one more in, within the cave, and then the last one's not within the cave. So there it is. It's within that hole within the cave. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fire up the Pokefinder again to take a picture on this Pokemon. It is... What do you know? The evolution of Zheng Mo. So I missed my first screen capture, but I ended up getting him on the second one. And it is Hakamo, which is the evolution of Zheng Mo. And I really love this dragon type Pokemon. It is very cool. Uh, it this evolution right here looks identical to Charmeleon. The if you put them all bald and you take everything off of Charmeleon, the fire, everything off of this Pokemon, all the extra utilities that these Pokemon have, they're Outfits, their their silhouettes are identical, I should say. If you look at a shadow of both of these Pokemon, Charmeleon and Hakamo, they're very identical. Uh, the way they stand, the way their legs are, their arms are just hunching over. It's They're very identical Pokemon, so it's very cool. Um, it's basically saying, F you, Charmeleon, you wish you were a dragon type. So, that was Quest 3 completed. We've photographed three different Pokemon now. So, without further ado, it's going to show us where the last one is. It is outside of the cave. So, we got to go ahead and make our way through this and make our way uh, to the outside of the cave. Um, it is a vast landscape here, and we can't travel back here. So, I don't know what this uh, route is all about. If it is going to make it into the actual game, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm pretty sure it will. This is probably one of the trials that is within the game. Um, but there it is. It is the final evolution of Zheng Mo and Hakamo. And he's going to be coming lunging at us right here, son. And it looks so big, but I really lo I love dragon types. It is my second favorite typing besides the fire types. And of course, as you guys can see, um, now we've got Hakamo, um, the totem version. And um, this isn't the third evolution, my bad, but this is the totem uh, version of the second evolution, which is Hakamo. Uh, the final evolution has more scales with it, and I, we're not going to be able to see that. This one does look a little bit larger than the last one, though, but it's probably because it is a totem Pokemon. And I'm going to go ahead and use air, um, my flying type move because uh, it is super effective against it. But what's very cool about totem Pokemon is they have different abilities. Uh, he did power his uh, specials up in before the fight, but they also have the ability to call in uh, extra allies to help. But considering this is a rock rough, it is rock type. Um, we're going to be able to use water shirk and it should be very, very easy for us to, to handle. And what I also notice is when you're selecting a move set or uh, move to use in a battle, if you've defeated a Pokemon and a Pokemon's in the Pokedex registered and everything, um, it's also going to tell you, um, like right now, I'm going to go ahead and showcase to you guys. 
We're going to... The reason why he's turning into Ash Greninja is because we were able to take uh, out one of the Pokemon in battle. Once you take out one, it turns into Ash Greninja for the remainder of the fight. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean by the, the movesets after you've uh, seen a Pokemon before. As you guys can see, the movesets, it shows it's effective, super effective, or not very effective. So you can see what moves beforehand now within Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, which moves are super effective and which moves aren't. So that also helps you in the long run when if you don't know the typings, if you're new to the game. So that's very cool. And again, in this, I don't know if that's going to carry on because this is the Sun and Moon demo. So we might not know all the typings of these Pokemon, but I do already because I've given you guys the updates on these Pokemon and they've been released prior to this. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Hopefully that stays with it uh, because it does dumb down on the dumbness that I sometimes have when I play these games. I sometimes use moves that make no sense. So bear with me sometimes on those type of uh, ideas, but I shouldn't have any more mistakes because it actually tells me which moves not to use now. So we're going to be, we completed our um, first trial, which is the only trial, which is a trial demonstration of Pokemon Sun and Moon. He gave us the, the Z-Ring, uh, which is the uh, arm piece or the wristband that goes on our wrist. And he's also going to be giving us a uh, Pikachu uh, Z-Crystal in order to use in an upcoming battle. And uh, we're going to be using that against the Team uh, Skull Sister. It's the upper sister. She's the like the boss of these guys. Uh, but they call her sister. I don't know. I doubt they're related. But Big Sis. Yeah, there we go. Um, she's not the type of person I'd bang, to be honest. Uh, she kind of looks emo. Uh, again, they're Team Skull. But uh, I, don't, I don't mind Team Skull. Team Skull is a pretty cool name. Uh, their outfits are pretty damn cool, but her hairstyle, her face, uh, it, it's just her makeup, a little bit emo with a thong sticking out. I mean, she's thonging it up. She's just a complete slut. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but she's just not my type. Uh, she's too slutty. She's too emo. And uh, she's slutting it up again. So, again, this is what I saved Pikachu for. It makes, she makes this fight so much simple as well with the Pokemon typing she brings. So we're going to face off against her, which is very cool. Uh, we get to face off against the Team Skull Big Sis here. And uh, what makes it very cool is that, again, we do get to use Pikachu. We do get to experience what a Z-move looks like in the demo. And what's even better is she has a Golbat. So what's Golbat is Poison and Flying type. What's Pikachu? Electric. What's great against Flying type? Electricity. So a Z-move? Oh, goddamn, son. Gonna be lit. So... A Z move can only be used once per battle, so you gotta make sure you're timing that move correctly. I'm gonna use it right off the bat. Why? Well, first of all, this Pikachu's level 40, better than my Greninja. Second of all, this Golbat is flying type, or partly flying type. So this Z move's going freaking lit ham on this Golbat over here. So we're gonna be lighting it up with the power of Z force, Z move. Gigavolt Havoc is the name of the move that Pikachu does learn through the Z move abilities. And what else can I say? Just just look at the freaking effects that we get to see here. It looks absolutely amazing. It's just so much effort and so much animation that just goes straight into that. Uh, I just absolutely love it. So that is pretty much the end of the main portion of the demo for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, we met uh, the Alola region. Uh, we saw our house. We met the Alola region going to the uh, city hall registering ourselves up there we saw our buddy or aka rival who took us and adventured us into the pokemon center uh, from the pokemon center we stepped out and we finally met the professor the professor took us to our very first trial and then through that trial uh we got to experience a uh, greninja ash greninja and we also got to experience the zemu su pikachu and uh, now we're going to be basically going back to town and the professor is going to escort us back to town with our buddy here and yeah, I mean, it's just an adventure after adventure. Stay tuned for some more Pokemon Sun and Moon demo content, and I will catch you guys in a little bit. But I'm going to leave you off with a quick little mini advertisement that came in a demo. Uh, it shows you a couple cool things that we get to see and experience within Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, it's a quick mini little uh, illustration of what it's all about and a couple of new towns and areas that we haven't seen before. And it also advertises when... I'm calling it an advertisement because it simply is. And I've already pre-ordered my game, so it doesn't really affect me. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for tuning into this video. Stay tuned for some more content brought to you by For the Win Itachi, and stay tuned for the rest of the brand new, updated, latest versions of the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo. And again, Pokemon Sun and Moon does... 
come out November 18th of 2016.